Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Justin here today with a review of the Netflix film, uh, The Life Ahead, um, starring Sophia Loren. It was actually directed by her son. I believe his, his name is Eduardo Ponti. I saw an interview with them a few days ago. I don't know if it was on CBS 60 Minutes or on ABC, but it was a really, really endearing interview between mother and son and that's what ignited me to to watch this um saw it yesterday and i know it's available on youtube and i encourage you to to watch that before you you watch this film um it's the first feature film for sophia loren in over 10 years i believe she's 86 years old um very beautiful this film uh, chronicles the relationship between Ibrahim, uh, Ibrahima, which is the uh, an African foster child, and Sophia Loren, um, and his coming of age or his his maturation. Um, it, really, honestly, it's a coming of age story for for both characters. But the cinematography is beautiful. The opera, the music is is beautiful. Um, takes place in Italy um, and is really, really moving. The characters are fully fleshed out. You know, I don't know if I've seen a, a foreign language film, and that, that's a terrible word to say, but I don't know if I've ever seen a film where characters were so fully fleshed out. And that's interesting for me as an American that, that can only speak one language. This was a fully subtitled film. Um... But I understood a lot of the nuances of some of the characters. Um, Ibrahim, the, this young African character, is playing opposite Sophia Loren. You know, she is 86 years old, and I, you know, hate to even bring that up. But they are equal players in this movie. And, and that is truly a testament to the young man, to both of their, their acting ability, but truly this young man, I believe it's his first uh, acting role. Um, wow. There's a transgender character that, that lives downstairs under them and kind of looks out for Sophia Loren. And I was just kind of struck, I, you know, I'm interested to see what the commentary is going forward, but I was really struck by how fleshed out um, and how much humanity, you know, the, these characters had. Um, I think anyone and everyone can relate to, you know, feelings of longing, feelings of missing home, um, feelings of, of not being safe, feelings of uh, being uprooted and the two characters who are polar polar opposites are able to see that see kindredness in one another the young man is uprooted at a young age from uh, Senegal um, and really doesn't know much about home about you know uh, father and family and this old Old, you know, this this beautiful woman, Sophia Loren, who's a Holocaust survivor who has lived her whole life thinking, you know, that she has survived such a terrible, terrible, terrible ordeal, and she has. Um, but she talks about memories that she had growing up, you know, the, going to see the beautiful flowers and how they would bloom each each spring outside of her home. And these beautiful memories that she had to hold on to. And I think she, at some point, realized he doesn't even have that. But there was a kindredness to their uh, life experience that they found. Um, the magic is in the filmmaking. The magic um, is in the humanity and the empathy in these characters that you can see yourself living in this community or, you know, trying to find a, or, or finding your way there. Five-star movie, you know, it's highbrow cinema. So, you know, be prepared for that pacing, be prepared for the subtitles, be pre prepared for, you know, a sweeping score. Um, but I absolutely clapped, I cried, 
and I think it is is high, you know, high art. So I couldn't recommend it more. If you are a proponent or a fan of of uh, foreign film, um, if you're an American and you like subtitles or can can um, you know stomach that, watch this film. It's life changing. It is the representation that we talk about. It is the life affirmation that you know Hollywood tries for, um, but just never never really gets. So um, interested to see as the days go on. I'm sure this won't, it may not be a blockbuster, but um, it's one that'll stick with people when they see it. So I'm interested to see as the days goes, as the days go on, you know, what are your thoughts? Do you plan to see it? And if you have seen it, what did you think? But um, until next time, guys, this has been my review of The Life of Ahead the Netflix film starring Sophia Loren. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.